Hi, welcome to uh, Ding Fu FM uh, 028 unboxing. This is uh, one of these, uh, um, what are generically called Chinarello type frames, uh, frames made in China, even if they don't represent the Pinarello. So this was, has just been delivered. It's come in a pretty solid box. Uh, there didn't seem to be any damage, but uh, the courier where I live in France won't let me uh, return the box if it's damaged, so I've, uh, I've had to take it without actually looking at uh, the frame. So uh, here's the, uh, the frame coming out, and uh, it seems pretty well packed. It's a headset, uh, a lot of um, tape around it. I asked them to spray it up in green with just some carbon left, uh, so it's going to be, but um, I sent them some photos of what I wanted, but uh, I'm not 100% sure of what they've done, but they, there was very good communication uh, with Deng Fu. Uh, I know that's one of the complaints people have, but uh, I got a lot of feedback about what, where the frame was. So, well, the green looks like the green I wanted anyway. It's very light. We'll put it on the scales in a minute. So the important thing is to see Make sure it's undamaged. Uh, that's the hole where the um, so that's the hole where the derailleur goes. I think most of the weight is actually uh, the wrapping, rather than the frame itself. It's getting lighter and lighter as I take wrapping off. The colour is inspired by a felt, a felt frame, a felt aluminium frame. You have to be careful not to actually damage the tube while you're while you're unpacking, which is why I'm using scissors rather than uh, a knife. I asked for a spare hanger and a seat post clamp, just easier to get it from them rather than having to mess around looking for stuff locally. And a headset. Well, that's all been correctly delivered. I know that's another problem sometimes, the bits, bits get left out. So uh, I'll bring that in a bit closer for you to see. Yeah, it looks, um, looks pretty snazzy. They've done a good job with the painting. Uh, I'm glad I got them to do it because I'm not sure I could have done done as well and just left a little bit of black so that you can see it is carbon fibre and not um, aluminium or balsa wood or bamboo or something and uh, you can see here uh, looking inside the frame it looks like a pretty good layout job Yeah, it looks. Uh, they're not. They're not inexpensive. These frames, though. So, if you look there, it's uh, it's pretty clean. Paintwork is excellent, and inside here it's good. But they're not. They're not a cheap option. This is um, basic price. Of these frames about four hundred dollars. You've got eighty dollars delivery, and then you have to get seat post clamp, headset. Adds on about another twenty dollars. So, uh, and I had to pay some customs duty. So if I quickly put that into euros, 450 euros plus about 30 euros customs delivery, of which 21 euros was the French post uh, um, administration fee. So here we've got internal cable routing or routing for any Americans watching. And uh, yeah, the um, bottle cages, I mean, you see, Maybe if you've got a, a European source frame, they might be slightly smooth around the bottle cage mounts. I don't know. I haven't looked at many carbon frames in my life. Uh, so that's pretty good. I'll just get the fork out. So there's the frame. So I was surprised actually. The, the actual steerer tubes are quite a thick piece of carbon fibre. It all feels very light. So 
those are there for safety and uh, there we have straight fork looks uh, the paintwork is very good on it again we've left a bit of carbon fiber weave black insides uh, I'll just put that in there to give you an idea there we have it what do you think